Oh my good golly, oh me, oh my, oh Miss Molly, I hope you're doing well, I hope you're doing well. Oh my god, MJ, you were first. You were first by a country mile. And by a country mile, I mean six minutes, but you know what? Six, it doesn't have another. Oh my god, yo, it ain't how do. Oh my gosh. Second, all because I was working on a D&D &D campaign. A D... A D and D campaign. <laughs> Freaking nerd! Oh my god! <laughs> Look, get a load of this guy! Oh my god! <laughs> nerd? No, oh, couldn't be me. Couldn't be me. I'd never. I'd never. No, no. I'm. I'm too. I'm too laborious for such things. Oh my god! Oh shoot! I forgot to do a fun thumbnail for last stream. Oh god! Oh. <laughs> Rusty the Photoshop brother. <laughs> Why does it come out for three days? <laughs> oh my god. MJ on top, baby! Jeb wins again! Oh my god. It's true! It's true. People don't want to admit it. People don't want to admit it, but it's gonna be a surprise this November. It's gonna be a surprise. One second, I'm, I'm closing a window. I just realized I'm shouting out into the open air. That's a problem. Probably shouldn't do that. Some people... Might find it rude. There we go. There we go. We're fine. We're set. We're good. We're golden. Oh my god. You know, some people, they're gonna be pissed. They're gonna send the brick through my window. I guarantee it. But it's just, they just don't understand. All right? They just, they just don't get it. They're gonna hear you at the game. <laughs> Oh my god. They're gonna be like, hey! Is that guy on Skype? Wait a minute! Hey! Everyone! This guy's on Skype! They're gonna come in here with their pitchforks and their and their and their large broad swords and their and their crinkled up papers turned into torches and their $37 hoagie and they're gonna give me a piece of their mind! Mainly because nobody, nobody's original here and everybody just kind of does what everybody else is doing and mob mentality is kind of just a big thing and I don't know, I guess they'll just always decide, <laughs> decide as a group to come uh, absolutely try to violently overthrow me as their ruler. But you know, listen, it's just, I pray for originality. I pray for it, but I think it'll never happen. Everybody out there, they're too predetermined predetermined to go towards mob mentality kind of like lemmings my god but you can't win them all you can't win them all oh my god anyway cheers welcome back to my grave long walk yes it was some would say worth it not all would say that though i can guarantee you I did actually have to close my window for the record. That was not like, there was not such a long walk that like the whole time it was a bit. <laughs> I had just realized midway through the bit, I was like, this could transition. I think about the first time I said mob mentality, I went, oh, wait a minute. I know something that has a mob mentality. Lemmings. They, you see, they organize into capos and then underlings and made men and like. It's, uh, yeah. Cause, cause, cause mob men, cause mob mentality. Cause, you, you, you get, you, you get it? Cause the mob, all right, well, you know. <laughs> uh, dead, dead crowd, dead audience. Bunch of zombies out here. Bunch of mobs! <gasps> Scorch. 
obliterated what is he yapping about don't worry it's funny to me and that's all that matters <laughs> oh my god anyway chatters i will brief i will brief you early on today um this may end up being a shorter stream i may have to go get someone from an airport because their plane will no longer be leaving um so that's fun because apparently i guess y2k happened not really but you know some some idiot somewhere has pushed an update they shouldn't have so now all of the global banks and and airports are are in gridlock so that's great but here's hoping i don't have to i'm waiting for a text but yeah i do not want to go out in this traffic oh my god i earned one two k oh god i was at oh my god i had to help the it like the it desk uh so like i got a temp job like this is like two years ago now uh, i got like a summer job where my whole job was clearing out binders in in it departments around campus of just like different um uh like y2k prep kits they had like binders upon binders of information of like okay if the if the numbers roll over and we all lose everything here's what to do and then, oh my god I was, it was like one after another and so many of them were so corny and how they were written because they were trying to be upbeat still and so they were always like they, they they put the letter e in front of everything they were like in the like <laughs> they'd be like in this e-centric world and, and oh my god because ever because i guess the internet was defined by the letter e even though internet doesn't start with the i'm not sure where that comes at ethernet maybe or it, maybe that's what maybe it's because of I I explorer that's an e i don't know anyway it was cool it, it was actually pretty interesting there was a lot of like really interesting details of like just entirely different ways systems worked um i had to like find uh i had it, it launched me um i had to so i'm not sure if any of you have ever heard of an antiquary uh, or an antiquarium um which is basically like a it's like a museum or like oh well, I guess, no it's more like an archive but instead of documents it's materials so it's anything from oh, that is it. i'll do it's anything ranging from like out of, like donated uh ranging from it could be more documents realistically but typically not documents so it could be anything from like a catalytic converter and a microfiche machine and like to a canoe that somebody's like my great grandpappy went up the hudson in this canoe and so they they keep that there too you know what i mean like they keep anything and everything uh that gets donated of any value typically if it's related to like a period of time or like a war or something like that they're like oh we really want those uh but they're all the things basically museums don't want i mean in some cases a museum has an attached antiquarium which is really just it's like overflow bins of like here's the material we have but we're not really putting out right now like we're not putting together an exhibit on x y or z you know what i mean so because of that they have an antiquarium they, they store everything there antiques basically uh but anyway so i would have to leave to go to to to, to you know the local antiquarium of none of it um and i'd have to go there and uh, and, and just effectively dumpster dive because it's not hyper organized because it's so much gets donated by so many people that like they're always behind on like uh proper documentation and ticketing and everything like that because it's not on display it's not at the museum or the or the like public facing side of an archive right now you know it's not part of an exhibit so some of it's just overflow the result of that was was like probably a solid like one and a half of the like four months i was working was was effectively dumpster diving through like old technology uh like because they just have a, a section of it basically so it was like like i got to toy around with one of those old uh you know those old newspaper readers that, that some archives still maintain one but like this is an extra one basically uh that like you turn the dials and it like lets you like zoom in on on uh uh microfiche film of, of of like old newspapers and stuff like that uh i went looking for a copy of uh of a really old version of um 
not Word, uh, Microsoft Word, but a um, I'm blanking on the name. It was some sort of uh, proprietary. Uh, like it was like Microsoft Word before Microsoft Word became dominant. Uh, you're living my bestie's dream. <laughs> well, uh, don't get me wrong. It was very fun. Um, like in the sense. It was hot, actually, because they all they didn't have air conditioning in that part. But anyway, well, some parts did. The stuff that needed to be kept cold was cold. But anyway, my point being that that's uh, all of this was done to, to decode the Y2K material. And by God, it was a special time. It was special. Not great, but special. <laughs> anyone else having issues with stream uh it shouldn't be everything see bit rates should be stable uh it seems to be on the up and up about global it issues <laughs> is it naughty that you could try refreshing but it sounds like you've probably already tried that you could try closing the browser and opening up a, diff a, a new session you could try as the stream title suggests turning it off and then back on again you know, all of these are are fine options. All right, we did a loop. Um, anyway, today we got a couple. We got a couple. A couple things on the docket. One, that right there. You see that right there? This spot right here. I want to figure out something to do. Uh, I might just make it more wheat, cause that you know it it fits. But I kind of want to put something there, cause if you if, here, let me go back up there. You can see it better from up top. Plus, it's nighttime anyway. Um, but yeah, I'm basically going to be expanding the farm a little bit more. We're going to be turning the quartz that we got, uh, from last stream into, uh, you know, quartz blocks and place some of those. We're going to be working on clean, a clean up day, basically. It's going to be cleaning up some projects that have been left hanging for a little while and closing some chapters with those. Cause that seems like a good idea. Seems like a good idea. <gasps> Yo! Tiger! Applaud, yes! Applause for the yes! Howdy Chad, howdy Lurkers, howdy Vodwatch, howdy Nap, how do Tiger? I hope you're doing well, King. I hope life's been treating you well. Oh my god, my star. Is that the Tiger? Oh my god, I love getting back from the store and opening Twitter and apparently Microsoft's dead. But it's not even Microsoft. <laughs> like it is, it is Microsoft, but it's not all Microsoft things. Because it's only, it's only industries that used, um, Oh, what was it? It's like a big name in uh, cybersecurity, uh, which basically they were like, hey, nothing's unsecure. It's just we pushed an update uh, that had problems to your cybersecurity software because it's it's misreading your Windows update as like a bug. And so it's no longer letting you access your computer. <laughs> One workaround is apparently turning your computer off and on again over 15 times and then Magically, it works. And, you know, I choose to believe Todd Howard, employee of Microsoft, is the is, is the one who told them that. I, I like to think that he, he quote, he was, he was giving his quote to the BBC, and he was like, it just works. It just works. I'm sick. True, you are, you're sick. Uh, and I only have one working earbud, but I am awake, and I am here. Oh, my God. Welcome, Tiger. Well, outside of being sick, I hope you're doing well overall. I hope I hope overall things are on the up and up. Also, hi, Ray. Hello, 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 hello. Hope you're doing well as well. We're discussing the intricacies of the, the cyber security of the world. Um, yeah, you see how it's just like a big blah. It's just like a big blah patch in the middle of the in the in the middle of the of, of the big field. So I might just make that into more wheat. That's fine. Like it would look fine to just be more wheat. But I also feel like it could be something cooler. It is right next to that. So it could do like a little waterfall with some flowers. But does that really make sense in the middle of a wheat field? I don't know. I don't know. Um, a keeper started Twitch and it works for like a minute, then dies out. No! <laughs> oh God! Oh my god. It's funny because I accidentally turned my power strip off last night and didn't turn it on until I got back from the store, so I never had a single issues. Oh my god. Uh, update, I have a new kitten! Oh! Wait, that's adorable! Uh, so, the 10 weeks old, that's so cute! Can you... Send, send pictures, please. Please. <laughs> 
What, what's their name? <gasps> Napoleon, 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 we meet again. Many moons has been since I, or since we stood face to face in a place such as this. But I have prepared for this encounter. I shall not be bested by you again this time. I shall prevail. You will try. You will try, X-Men, my god. How do I hope you're doing well, King of Half-Life's treating you good? Oh my god. Consider a we oh <gasps> Desert well. But not desert. <laughs> desert well, but but not in desert. Also, also just known as a well. Well, well, well. I'm late! I'm late for a very important date. Oh my gosh. Yo, Grand Aldo. Oh my god, my school's financial aid program is down. Uh, does this mean I don't have to pay tuition for the year? <laughs> oh my god. Dude, like so much of Wall Street was just like cooked today. Uh, I'm just like, well, I guess we can't work. Like, <laughs> oh my god. Uh, the first thing I heard was squeak. Oh, that's odd. I didn't say the word squeak. Uh, okay. <laughs> Ken's name's Sophie. Oh, so short for Sophocle. <laughs> nice. Nice. You gotta get another cat name in Antigone. Uh, she's a great tabby and still small enough to pick up in one hand. Oh, oh that's adorable. Wait a minute. <laughs> Wait a minute. That's so cute. Oh my god. Should be too big for that soon. She's very leggy. Oh, I know just the thing. Dude, my cat Jasper went from like being, yeah, like tiny as all as all sin to like bigger than like a size, I don't know, like I forget how big the shoebox was actually, but anyway, larger than a shoebox. Dude got huge. He's massive. I was say 13 feet long, but that's not correct. That's not. <laughs> 13 something. I forget what the vet said, but anyway. Those hardworking boys on Wall Street. Oh, yeah, super hardworking there on Wall Street. Oh, no, I guess they'll go have to get, uh, you know, go have to, have to go to the bars early. Well, I guess they can't because they go there and they can't process their payments. It's rough. That's rough. Oh, my God. No, but it, it's, it's, it's a real, the real problem is probably the air travel. There's. There has been thousands uh, left stranded because airlines just cannot fly currently uh, for a lot of the world. So that's a little tragic. Um, one time I was playing Minecraft with my friend. They went on an adventure and I stayed behind. So I made three wells and when they came home, I said, well, 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 what do we have here? Did you say it like a like an old timey baron? Like like an oil baron? Did you did you pull out a little uh, a little pocket watch to check at the same time, or perhaps uh, 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 begin to light a large a large bubble pipe that that then you like pop some bubbles out of? You go, you know, <laughs> stop! Oh my god, my live stream early. I can feel myself losing years of my life because of internet issues. No worries, King. I too understand the absolute abject horror that is internet issues. I do not own a bubble pipe. Well, that. I hate to say it, but that kind of sounds like a you problem, you know? That. that... No offense. <laughs> Kinda sounds like you're missing out. I I mean, I ain't gonna lie, you know. It, it just it it feels like you might be the one missing out in such a situation as that, you know. I guess we'd have to yeah cut cut a little path, and then we'll bap 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 bap. Wait, bap. Nope. Bop. Okay. Bop. Why won't it change? Why? I'm jumping on it. Okay, there we go. <laughs> I was so confused. Hey, yo! Totally human! Thank you so much for 50. Don't come in here without. 
I'm gonna cook you. I'm gonna cook you this way. Just you wait for the 21st, pal. Just you wait. <laughs> oh my God. Thank you so much for, I, 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 you really don't have to gift, okay? Like, <laughs> Like, it is so deeply appreciated, but at the same time, good God! For the record, I woke up at- Hey! He cooked you, Chatters. He cooked you. You had no faith. You had no faith he'd be up in time for street. No faith, Havers! Not me, baby. Not me. I knew. I knew. The rest of you. Taking bets in the Discord. You think Total Yuma is going to be awake for stream? Never doubt it. Never doubted. <laughs> Jesus Christ, dude. Oh, thank you again for insanely still too much of additionally another 50 and um, oh, well over a thousand subs over the years. My God, sir. <laughs> Good. Jimmy, Christmas. Well, I hope you had a good sleep. I hope it was enjoyable and you're well rested. Evidently not, because you just d d still only <laughs> did you think you're dreaming? Is that why? Oh, if I consider past that has been overgrown by wheat. Half of those blocks uh, are still wheat, uh, and the other half uh, are packed block. Ooh, ooh, wait a minute. Ooh. Welcome back to the world of the living. Oh my god. Saturday stream, Saturday stream. Yes! The, <laughs> the sub goal has been met indeed for, for, for at some point, a Saturday stream. I know when it'll be, but you don't, you don't yet know. Oh, as a reminder, next week, theme, themed nap week. Go learn everything there is to learn about the 90s, because next week, 90s nap week, nap meets the 90s. Uh, it'll, it'll be great. It'll be it'll be fun every every day new game new game every day game from the 90s super a uh, big event <laughs> themes <laughs> Oh my god Like tomorrow is it tomorrow? No, it is not tomorrow because I'm busy tomorrow. No, it is it is not directly tomorrow. I mean technically it could be tomorrow night, but um, but, but, the boggers! Yo, yo, baby man, 5FT7 uh, baby man! Oh my god. I, f I am much taller than 5'7", first of all. Second of all, you spelled Winnie, not whiny. And third of all, I am not a baby! But thank you very much for a t Jesus Christ, a tier 3! Christ almighty! Thank you very much, Calum! Good god. Bonjour, bonsoir! I hope you're having a good day. So the 1890s, right? Yep, we're getting cholera, baby. <laughs> bringing it back. We're bringing it, we're bringing it, we're bringing it back. Cholera. <laughs> oh my god. Nap, don't stream Half-Life on Tuesday, which I know you absolutely will because I'm busy that day thing. You know, it is very good that you said that now. <laughs> That's absolutely the planned day for that. Uh, the <laughs> oh my god. I know I spelled witty. You That's what you sound like. That's what you sound like. L plus ratio. Oh my god. Oh. Uh. Oh, by the way, Kale, I've been learning more French for a, um, for a D and D character of mine. Poggers! Can you believe it's been 32 months? I can't. Thank you for being a ray of sunshine on my other oh! one. Not so good day. Wait, what the hell? Why? That's so sweet. Jesus Christ! Tyler! Oh my God! Th thank you so much. Not only for 32 months, but also just. God! Oh my God! <laughs> It's way- first of all, it's way too nice. I am way too bitter and- and mean and- 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 and, and, and harsh to be a ray of sunshine, but thank you. I also contributed to the hype train. Oh my god. <laughs> um, um, I also- 
that play Hylix, I like Hylix. Was Hylix made in the 90s? That's the question. Next week's Nap Week, 90s week, nine, 90s Nap Week. They're all games from the 90s. There's a theme. Yes, is it? Is it? I'll... So that was a lie. So, so that that was a lie. How does how does it feel to be a liar, a, a little liar, a, a, a little lost liar? That's right. I'm calling you an instrument. I'm I'm referring to you as as a as a three string four four string instrument. Ah! Jesus Christ! Why? What did I do? Oh! Christ almighty! Well, that was just unnecessary, I'll have you know. Oh my god. Oh my god, have you seen the French Minister of Sports swam in the Sid the Brew is ready for the Olympics, but she had to be hospitalized because... Oh my god. I didn't! I knew they were going to! I thought Macron was going to! And then, I mean, personally, I never understood the protest. That people, the people decided they were going to do because not that I want to get into it because it's kind of gross, but I really didn't understand the protest because like what? Jesus! <laughs> Why? 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 That's two in a row! Huh? Oh my neck! Oh my god! Why did you do that? <laughs> I take back everything I said! You're a mean, mean man! Oh my god! Oh. <sighs> Sorry, I started to let go of the controls. Thank God I wasn't fighting anything. My God. <sighs> I'd take Earthbound. I would accept Earthbound. This has been open for like two weeks. Erm, um, technically it closed uh, as of whatever date, uh, as per the, as, as per noted. Oh my God. God, my heart. I'm I'm 58 years old. You can't do that to me. Oh my god. Uh, commonly had someone between three to ten streaks. What? How does it feel to keep winning? <laughs> oh my god. We protest to protect the swimmers and also because they're wasting money uh, for stuff that giggles. Uh, people uh, giggle. I mean, I don't think a cleanup project's a waste of money is the thing. Like, like I don't think a, a, an effort, if if, it, if taken in genuineness, an effort to clean up a river ought to be considered a waste. It's kind of an environmental thing. Like, oh my god, there was no hope. But that's like pretty categorically untrue the idea that there's like no possibility to clean up a water table has been proven wrong multiple times i i would agree with you like on the time scale they allowed i don't think that it could be done i think they they promised too much for how little time they had but i don't get the, the protest of like let's make it dirtier to spite them that seems inane what happened i thought you died oh my god You'd think, you'd think, no, that was a little trick. That was a little, it was a little trick perpetuated by one MJ. What? Well, MJ, you see, you, you sent a thing. They made the river dirtier out of spite. That's my understanding of the protest. I could be wrong, but basically because the... My understanding is the protest was... Uh, the, the, so there was two, the, the president and someone else said we're gonna try to clean up the river for the, so that we can use it for the Olympics. We're gonna clean it up. And then we're gonna swim on it this day to prove how clean it is. And then people said, all right. I agree that like people organized online, they're like, we're all gonna defecate in the river when they go to do it to ensure that it's dirty and make them swim through it. 
So it seems a little inane. They spent money that was supposed to go to an uh, ecological project in a place that needed it, not Paris. That's not what happened. I'm just going off of what news reports have said. I got that's all I got for it. I don't li I don't live in France. I just know that that was what people organized. I don't. I, as far as I'm aware, they didn't swim on the day they were said they were going to. Oh no, I actually need those seats, and then I need this. This is what I came up here for. Clearly, the river pair is not ecological project. That if it's you'd think. <laughs> There may be more important ecological projects. I'll give you that. Oh, man. No, just no. That river should stay dirty. <laughs> that river should never be cleaned. It's a point of pride, I guess. No. <laughs> It was for places that were at risk. Yeah, but I still don't get like like that all may be true, but the point still remains. Oh, okay. They misappropriated funds to clean the wrong place. So we're going to actively prevent them from cleaning the place that they've misappropriated the funds to clean. That's that I, I just don't see the logic. That's all I'm saying. People will get protests whatever they want and how they want, you know what I mean? But it's like, I don't personally see the three, see, uh, see the, um, the through line of logic, you know what I mean? Like, it is, like, like, that's my point. It's not like you, you're, you're right. If there was more important ecological sites to go to, then yes, they should have cleaned those first. And not use this for the vanity project that is the Olympics, which the Olympics always are. They're an entire vanity project. They never make money. It's kind of they're they're bad like that. But um, but I just I just don't understand what's gained from continuing to keep a place dirty. Like if they're like, oh, well, we're doing this, ah. and there, that and that like that. Okay, and these ones. Bop, 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 bop. Ah. Um, so it's a pretty risky river to swim in. Does indeed. Which Hitman map is this? Um, it's a new exclusive for Hitman 4. Uh, it's coming out in the battle pass for it, uh, right before they do their crossover with, uh, Lego Fortnite, they're releasing Lego Hitman. Um, and so I, I, I got the, I'm getting the, uh, the honor to, to pre-test it, so that's pretty cool. That, that's, that's, that's pretty cool news, you know? Bop, bop, bop. Uh, let's do that one too. Yeah. Yeah. Perfect. Uh, do I have a bucket of water? I do. Well, how about that? Oh, dang it. <laughs> bop, bop, bop. Yo, shut up. I'll do. Are you saying the Olympics aren't incredibly necessary for, um, erm? Um, um, <laughs> I don't have a problem with the Olympics existing. I do have a problem with the excess spent on the Olympics that could go to many other causes. Um, and the fact that it's really just kind of an ego thing. Uh, that's, that's all I'm going to say on it because, you know, I, I got, I got opinions on the Olympics. <laughs> Um, oh, and then yeah, let's do uh, that one too. Uh, uh, to be honest, they're already failing to make uh, sure the athletes have space to sleep and their arena are barely finished. Yeah, yeah, it sounds like it's been a real mess. I think, honest to God, the only, uh, the only nation that's like made it out all right and even then that's still losing a bunch of money from like an olympics was london 
because they seem to have at least made use continuously of all the like stuff they built from everything I've seen I've started to see more of it because lately it's been like more of a topic of how the, like a bunch of money gets spent on these projects all the time and then they never turn a profit um and it was even like one of the most well attended Olympics in a long time and it still lost a bunch of money and like continues to be a big so it's like this weird thing of like prestige but like doesn't benefit anybody you know what I mean because it's like they build these great big stadiums and it's like you know this could be a homeless shelter like you could build it you could build it and even have your Olympics there. It could then be transformed afterwards. You don't, it does not have to stay a stadium. Or you build all this housing really quickly for athletes, but then get rid of it. <laughs> and it's like, okay, well, like it could have, it could have been more. It could have been, it could have stayed. You didn't, you didn't have to get rid of it. Ah, well. I'm sure Mr. Olympic is happy with it. <laughs> Can never have enough bread. True. Well, I mean, for this world, I don't really eat bread in this world. All of this is here just because of the, the aesthetic of, of rolling. I like rolling fields of wheat. Uh, in my geography, we learned about how the London Olympics uh, were used to catalyst to regeneration in deprived areas of London and the Olympic Park is still in public use. What's your opinion on that? Um, I mean, it's still lost a boatload of money. That's my, that's my point. It's like probably the most successful in terms of like it not. Most times the Olympics happen and then the arenas that get built become dilapidated within a couple years because nobody uses them. Um... Like, they just don't get used. The fact that it got turned into a public park for, like, the main one, uh, and I think one of the other areas also got turned into something uh, for London, is, like, good use of it. But in general, it was still a large drain on, like, the finances of the United Kingdom for, like, li no payoff. Uh, we did learn about that. The park's becoming there. Yeah, like for the and, and London's done the best job of it Like not becoming totally there. I think some are uh, I could be wrong on that, but uh, I disagree the Olympic parks are arguably significant social effect that arguably worth the economic cost. What social effects? Right tell <laughs> Right tell. if it's the fact there's a park you could build a park for a lot cheaper than an Olympian arena <laughs> like <laughs> Like you can you can you can make a lot more public spaces without spending the budget they do on the Olympic Desert well desert well desert well Because it's not like that don't wrong. I'm not saying they didn't make the best of a bad situation But that's the point they made the best of a bad situation It was one of the most well attended Olympics in, in decades still turned out horribly financially and they were like well i guess we can use this massive use of taxpayer money on uh parks sure we'll maintain them as parks but they also become difficult to maintain parks because the problem is that they are built to be arenas so even if you're maintaining it like the amount of money that needs is required to maintain it um is significantly more than a basic park would you know what i mean like, for instance, if you look on the flip side, if someone's like, I don't know, Central Park, uh, most of it's greenery. Like, it's it's got the capabilities to be a great park for people in an urban setting. Uh, and yet, and while it is still has an expense to maintain, uh, that expense is much lessened in comparison to maintaining. Uh, why Central Park specifically? It's big and famous. People will know it. It's probably the most known park in existence. Shut. <laughs> oh my god. They have kicked out students from the houses and have asked old people to leave retirement to be security. Uh, it's honestly funny how sad it is, how incompetent the government is. Uh, you talked about uh, learning French for a character. Yes. So yeah, yeah, we got time. We got up to the Olympics. Oh my god. Yeah, I should I did to be clear killer I do agree with you that that like it's it's wrong that they misappropriated the funds I just don't know how effective of a protest what from what I understand was planned to have happened whether it happened or not uh, Made sense in comparison to what they're protesting. You know what I mean? Kind of seems like cutting your nose off to spite your face, but 
I digress. Um, but yeah, for for um, uh, for for one of my characters, I'm 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 learning more uh, French idioms because I th I don't I I I don't want it to have a, a pure Parisian accent either. Even as an accent, I think I want it to be more of like um, uh, like Cherbourg or like like a co like coastal French kind of thing. But yeah, so I'm like trying to find good resources for that. Turn Central Park into a 16-lane highway intersection. Oh my god. Uh, the vintage store I go to with my besties uh, always had a ton of Olympic pins and merch and even sets uh, from stadiums. And I always looked at the pins and go, wow, these are so cool and vintage. And then I go, wow, these pins are like $10 and I don't put my pins anywhere. I'm not going to buy these. Uh, it used to be a black neighborhood and then they just placed a large amount of people. Not great history. Yeah, sure. It's got terrible history. That doesn't make Central Park uh, like a currently bad thing. It's got a horrible history. That, like a genuinely deplorable history. Yeah. Um, Sandstone, I guess I'll need. Do I want it to be pure desert? Well, yeah, I think so. I think just building a desert well would be cool, but it's like like, do you know how like how often the government of uh, the government is is lobbied to try to like let any real estate exist, like, on um, in Central Park? My God. But yeah, like it's 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 once again making making good out of a bad situation. Um, yeah, like Central Park, a couple cent like uh, I think a century and a half later. Uh, you know, problematic origins. Uh, best of a bad situation now this like it's bad the choice that was made because of who was there like in the sense that it, it was wrong to target a specific group um but i think in general tearing up blocks in uh within the city was not the problem the problem is that it targeted people you know what i mean like it, it was used uh, with, uh, it was done with prejudice. It wasn't done with like, oh, well, we just need space. Here's a good space. You know what I mean? Um, I'm pro lobbies. I don't know what they are, but Fortnite has lobbies, so it must be good. It was a threat, not a project. Uh, can I have a sample of your research, uh, of French idioms? Um, uh, yeah, here, one second. Actually, I have to pull up a word document for this one second. Um, uh, it should be any fair. No, why is it not in the dark? Oh, did I? One second. I moved it to a different folder. Proud lobbyist. I love Fortnite. I will judge respectfully. Well, at least it's respectful. Um, okay, let me butcher this pronunciation. Uh Modre le Puissier. Which should be the uh, which, which which should be suffering defeat, I think. Modèle la Puissier. It should be. That's what I think that's what it is. To bite the dust. Well, I was lied to. To bite the dust. Yeah, my understanding is, I, I guess that's literally what it is, but my understanding is it's meant to be like suffering, like, like suffer a defeat. Get, like, get got, basically. I wanted a phrase that was about getting got. <laughs> uh, 
A lobby is an uh, area or room in which multiple rooms or how always converge, typically placed at an entrance of a building. Head Mosby eyes enlarged 30%. Hmm, a lobby. That's a reference for for you Disney Channel freaks out there. Holy ho! You guys want to talk about the Disney Channel for some reason? <laughs> Earlier today, I think about was it High School Musical? I did not mean to come up here. I meant to go to the storage facility. Someone more la uh, more le poisson uh, when they lose. His name is not Ted. It's Marion. Oh yes, it is. Who's Ted Mosby? Why do I know that name? Fake fan. Who's Ted Mosby? What period are you playing in? Um, so it's in, uh, so it's, it's fantasy, basically. It, it's in a fantasy D&D world, but, um, it's, uh, it's effectively, uh, I get to, uh, so Royo is, is where he's from, uh, which, which I'm getting to, my DM's letting me, uh, like, he'll, he'll cut what he doesn't like, uh, but, but sort of get to build out, uh, a city, uh, that, that's kind of, uh, I'm basing a lot off, sh uh, Sherbert. But yeah, that is how I much remember. Oh, that's what, it, yeah, that is what it is. Oh, man. But you know what? You know what's crazy? For the longest time, you guys know the song Man or Man or a Muppet? Uh, Royal? Uh, no, uh, uh, Royal is, 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 is how the city's gonna be spelled. Uh, I think. It might just be that, but I think it's got an X at the end. Um, uh, but royal. The, uh, anyway, you guys, you guys, yeah, so I'd never really seen, um, so I, I'd, I'd never really seen the, uh, seen How I Met Your Mother, but, you know, you guys know, uh, how, like, there's this song, Man, Man or a Muppet? From the, from, I guess, the Muppet movie? For like a solid amount of time, I kind of thought that was just like from an episode of How I Met Your Mother. I didn't realize- because the actor was acting the exact same. I didn't realize he was in a different thing. I kind of thought it was just like part of it. And then later in life, I learned it was not. And I was like, oh. Oh, I see. That's its own thing. Okay. I thought it was like one of those things- because you know how like uh, sh long running shows will have like musical episodes? I thought they just did like a crossover, but no, it like it turns out it was entirely its own little separate thing in the world, which is kind of crazy. What is a desert well? Smooth stone? I didn't, know, uh, I didn't hear your explanation. Oh, I said I'm not playing like it's not a specific time period so much as it's a fantasy world. Uh, okay, no, it is cobbled. It, it's. Here one second. Uh, up, 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 up. It is it is it is a cobbled um, cobbled stone, uh, cobbled sandstone, I should say. But maybe I want to add something. Maybe I want to maybe I want to include some some a little some a little bit of extra. Um, but yeah. So so it's gonna be. Uh, but basically, I'm getting to build out my own version of a fantasy world where my character's from. Uh, cause he's playing in, uh, it's in Pathfinder technically, not d d but, um, but he's playing a, an Oracle, uh, who is, uh, from, um, from the city of Royo, which I'm getting to build out and kind of build up some of the, like, background on, and so because of that, he's, I've always kind of played him with a bit of a French accent, uh, cause I liked how it sounded when I said Alivert Terreau, uh, which is, you know, cause he's all about luck and such like that and gambling, um, so Terreau for Terreau cards and Alivert is, uh, uh, it's, uh, I was gonna say French. It's, uh, it's Elvish, uh, for lucky. But yeah. Why are we building a desert well? Because I'm annoying. <laughs> no, it was suggested we add a well into, uh, the midst of the, of the farm, because I noticed it was a big blank place, and I was like, I could just add some more 
field, but what if I added something a little different? And then and then Ray had suggested a well, and then uh, and then MJ was like desert well, and MJ because MJ loves desert wells, and so I was like, you know what? Why not? <laughs> Um, where are we building the desert? Well, right there, right where I planted some things. I might have to tear up some of what I planted, uh, because basically it's a semi, a semi overgrown. So I'll probably also add some, um, what you got vines? Yeah. Uh, tarot, tarot, like tarot cards. Aliver tarot. Aliver. Uh, is how it's is how it's spelled, but yeah. Olivier Terrell. It's really fun to say. I don't know why. <laughs> I don't know why, but it's it is it is deeply fun to me to say it. All right, so right, right, right smack dab here is where is where I'm gonna build a, a little well. Um, well, well, well. Uh, wait a minute. What? Back here, over here, Baba Boy. Um, is it gonna be cobble or sandstone? Cobbled sandstone. <laughs> if it looks, listen. If it looks god awful, MJ, I'm sorry. I, I I will probably be changing it to a different look and more of a like. I really like the idea of oh well. Um, so if it looks absolutely horrific. We might have to go with something else, but but we'll do our darn diddly arndest, all right? We'll we'll try our best. We'll give it the old college try, you know. I'll need that. I need four of those. No, I'll need one more. Um, does it should just be pretty simple. <laughs> you say that and I'm picturing like the sad SpongeBob where we're in the Gary Come Home song where you know where it's like panning out of a still image of him sobbing in front of um Gary's empty food dish where he's like he's half melted on both sides and he's so yeah. No, nobody else thinks of that image on a daily. Nobody else like has that lock, stock, and barrel in their uh or lock, stock, and two barrel, I should say, in in, in their mind. But Caleb, yeah, I was gonna ask if there's any specific like uh, idioms you think are like really uh, worth worth keeping in mind of like, oh, these not only like are cool to say, but also like really fun, like roll out, roll off the tongue kind of thing. Desert wells are so big, dude. Um, why why is it so big? broke so quickly um and then i'm actually gonna change it out for this even though normally it's not that but i think it looks a little cooler like that uh oh i need way more of the um don't i yeah because it's two up and then the rest is all slabs okay i need way more slabs one second Okay, that, uh, the, uh, tarot is more pronounced, uh, the A in tarot is more pronounced, uh, and the O is the one in, uh, tomato. Wait, one second. The A in tarot is more pronounced, so it should be taro. Taro? Would that be how it's said? You, uh, you have a stone cutter uh, in the windmill, don't you? I got one back here. Yeah, right, right, right back here. This one. This one. Pedro. Oh, so wait, like, like, uh, Hercule. Hercule, uh, Pajo. 
Uh, no, not quite. Not quite, I guess. Closer though, probably. I, I, I think that's a closer approximation. The fuel barrel. 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 Alright, let's let's go all the way back and see how this looks like. Nah, read uh, my previous message story. Don't send. <laughs> Sounds like I hit uh, that exactly what the womp was meant to embody. Desert wells. Uh, desert wells aren't really the aesthetic of the rest of the kingdom. Uh, is going for. But I love them. <laughs> oh my god. Ripping my shirt off screaming anime style desert wells. <laughs> you mean screaming like the I voted sticker wolf from Michigan? I, explain, I think I've explained this right. I've, I've, have I talked about the I voted sticker from Michigan? I must have. I love it dearly. I love it very dearly. I surely I've talked about it. Surely, one sec. One second, one second. I'm just, I'm just opening up this, this, this image. I just realized how deadly silent I was. freaking lose it why won't the little hand turn into there we go nope there we don't go one second one second i'm gonna i'm gonna display this for the life of me oh my god i'm going to absolutely just lose my mind the fact that this isn't just letting me Oh my god. It's just not letting me control the the, the, the little knob nodules. Okay, okay, maybe. Maybe. This is gonna be so worth it, I promise. <laughs> this is gonna be this is gonna be so so worth it. Just you wait. So worth it. So worth it. Oh my god. Oh, oh hydrate, yes, that's actually important. I meant for you to stop at the message about how desert wells don't match the aesthetic of the kingdom So it's fine if you change uh, stuff ripping in the uh, thing is also important. Oh my god 
Cool, the joke, which joke number? Number 125, you got it, boys. Uh, while I look that up, enjoy, <laughs> enjoy this image. <laughs> Enjoy the official I voted sticker from Michigan! Yeah! Woo! Oh my god. And it was all worth it. Oh my god. Official? Yeah, this is what they're gonna give out. This is the sticker. This is the sticker that they're gonna give out in Michigan when you vote. So like there was somebody in a high school cause it was an open contest to decide what the sticker will be. And so this is what one of the students drew. And, and so, <laughs> and so because they drew this, uh, and then, and then Michigan, the state of Michigan made it public on, like online that anybody could vote for what would be the winning one and all the other ones which is lame like uh, you know, like, oh, I voted. Here's an American flag. Like, you know what I mean? Like, that was all the rest. Now, one kid went, nah, this, and then put it online, and then and then nobody was prevented from like also voting for it. And so, and so it got, it won the vote. And so, nah, they're gonna they're gonna hand this out when you vote. You know, I think it's great. I think it's wondrous. Oh, that took all too long. It's because I set it to studio mode while I was trying to do two things at once. Oh my god. It, like, the little thing, the little hand on the screen was, be like, the mouse was because was turning into a hand to grab the whole thing instead of the little, like, double, double arrowed thing. And I was, ugh. Ugh. <laughs> Human, you're awake! Brother. <laughs> Tyler, oh my god. The state of Michigan uh, trolled themselves. No, the state of Michigan just became the best place to vote. That's all. It just became cool. <laughs> it just, it just, you know, finally you can have something in Detroit. All right. And it's that sticker. It's that I voted sticker and that I voted sticker. I was reminded of because of um, MJ. M that's what MJ is doing about the desert walk. Well, anyway. Oh my god. The uh, joke number 125. Number 125. It's a computer joke. That's big. That's big for a 2000s book. Or a book published in 2002. Alright. I bought this computer yesterday, and I found a twig in the disk drive. I'm sorry, sir. You'll have to speak to the branch manager. Oh, oh, corporate humor. Oh, oh, how very droll. God. <laughs> oh, oh, oh. I've answered your question a little bit. What, 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 I didn't see it. I didn't see the end. Oh, now I gotta scroll up. Now I gotta, now I gotta scroll up. Oh my God. Truly the worst timeline. Um. Also for the idiom, uh, you rule the mass by Uh, basically to say if you try to do too many things or change the plan too much, you won't gain anything. Ooh. I was gonna. What? What would be? So you know how in the English there's the phrase "the house always wins." What is the? Is that just the say? Is that just? Uh, uh, de, le maison, uh, no, la maison, uh, Vic, Victor Tut, Tutemont. Is that all that is? Like, wh how do you say that in French? <laughs> Laughing old money. Oh, have you ever see those TikToks? That it's, that it's just like they, they, they like put a, they put a ball at like, uh, uh, they, they put a ball on like a golf course and then uh, and then the, a cat whaps at it and so then they, uh, they, they they all start laughing and it cuts to like a picture of a yacht in a mansion and it just goes like oh, 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 oh. oh my god money laughs are weird <laughs> it just it never feels like they're actually laughing it never feels like the like their smile touches their eyes you know what I mean uh, because they're still in VC well wouldn't you be wrong Brother gifted 50 subs earlier. I mean, maybe he's asleep. I don't know, but that's some crazy sleepwalking. Oh my god. Victor, like, it followed the way. Oh. 
euh, euh, la maison euh, grand, euh, Grandier toujours. Toujours I thought toujours was like today. Is that today? Or what's that? No. Can you do a find another voting sticker? I prefer it. Uh, when you stop talking. It's <laughs> such a... <laughs> it's such a random... <laughs> it's just like... Oh, yes. The Gingham is a, a, a wonderful farmlands, a swamp, a lovely pathways, mm, yes, the walls. Desert well. <laughs> it doesn't fit at all. <laughs> oh my god. Toujours is always. Oh, tous les jours is every day. Aujourd'hui is today. Ah, that's. Vent on the air. Aujourd'hui, yeah. that's my my French teacher would be very displeased with that one. I should probably remember that one. I took so many classes. <laughs> I gotta learn Spanish. I gotta learn German. Oh man, might look better in stone. That's true. That's true. It might look. I think. I. I think we can keep the look. Just with different blocks, you know what I mean? Like, we can keep the shape. But I just think it needs maybe some different block. And I, th I have an idea, I think, for what I'm gonna make it look like. Uh, bear with me. STOP SPEAKING FRENCH! <laughs> what? What do you got against French? Oh my god, it's like it's the all it's the all caps of just Stop speaking French <laughs> Oh my god Bonjour Fadiget Oh bonjour bonjour Comment ça va I spent the night writing a one shot for Percy Jackson tomorrow I'm gonna proofread it nice Nice Word to the wise, not about that specifically, but just anytime you need to proofread anything, chat, highly, like, uh, like you write the first draft and you're like, I don't want to go through nine drafts. Uh, like, e best way to proofread anything for, like, voice uh, and to, like, understand if your thoughts make sense being read back to you. Because, like, I know they say read it out loud. That's great. That's, yeah, that can work. You know what you do? You, you use in Microsoft Word, there is a, there is a text-to-speech function that will read your text out to you. Yeah, and it'll go through the whole document that way. It's got a few things it'll hiccup on, you know, it'll, cause it'll go quotation mark open and stuff like that. Uh, but when it reads it back to you, it, so, it lets you find run on sentences that you didn't realize were run on. It lets you find when you're like, oh wait, that doesn't sound right. Wait, why doesn't that sound? Cause then you don't have to read it either. Like you just close your, close your eyes and listen to it being read back to you and go, that sounded weird. Why'd that sound weird? Uh, and then you can just go back and fix like little chunks. I swear to God, it saves so much time. It's my favorite thing. Pretend to be the British Museum. Oh my God, pretend. <laughs> oh, I'm disappointed because uh, we went through that conversation already of negative 5,000 points by reaching the lowest of lows you keep digging. Well, I am nothing if not someone who tries to achieve, you know? That achievement may be the lowest score possible, but I'm trying. Oh my god. I've officially done two weeks uh, at the charity shop. I'm volunteering at? Yo! Crazy how some of uh, these drama and people talking about other people. My manager was bad mouthing another employee. Oh my god. Well, that's rude. <laughs> Uh, 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 uh. 
Crazy. Crazy. Crazy, you say? <laughs> I was crazy. <laughs> Oh. What a time to be alive. There's one shot person and the everyone are dead. Oh, well, that's sad. That sounds sad. You all like sad things. I don't, I can't say I understand it. <laughs> you all like sadness, and it it is peculiar to me. It is odd, but if it makes you happy, then Mazel Tov. It is the freaking set. Kyla, she said, goes to a coffee shop, uh, reincarnated forms, that are both of them on a date. But they still died. They're still sad. They got no memory of all the stuff they've gone through. Dead. <laughs> still sad. Molotov? No, Mazeltov. Mo Molotov? <laughs> no, I said Mazeltov. Oh my god. <laughs> Molotov, folks. <laughs> they died, but then rebirth and still ended up with each other. Still sad. Still sad. Oh my gosh. Um. Hmm. Okay, I'm gonna take a little bit of O. Uh, take that much. I don't need that much, but we'll take that much. Uh, we'll take that as well, just in case. I don't. I think I'm going to need it, but it's good to have things. RPG, I GM'd uh, Call of Cthulhu one shot. Yo! Managed to go crazy faster than was planned and they died so fast. Ain't that just Call of Cthulhu? <laughs> oh my god. That's a great character. Oh man. House rule from uh, uh, whenever I play Call of Cthulhu is always that you have to make uh, three characters when you make your first character. You have to make three. Because nine times through the adventure, it is so likely you're gonna die. Like, and you don't have to like fully stat it entirely, but you need to have three like basics done, like whipped up, and then and then you just slap out the next one. You're like, well, Jim Bob died, so now I'm the milkman. <laughs> I'm just doing my deliveries. <laughs> I did that, they had backups? Nice. Wait, did they get through all the backups? Did all the backups die too? Wait, no, this is tragic. It was making the story actually good. Yeah, that's why I recommended the Text to speech. I, I don't mean that text to speech is good for grammar. I mean, it's good for like, oh, that sounds like good or no. Because it's like somebody reading you the story. So then it's like, oh, no, that sounds weird. Why does that sound weird? And then you go fiddle with it. Oh, yeah, story time about my kitten. Hey, yo. Uh, I, ha I have this new game where I announced kitten of at keyboard uh, to my Final Fantasy friends and dropped gently Sophie on the keyboard to see what she would say. So far, she managed to open uh, the fishing log, use the keyboard shortcut for pet action, and type out Loki! Yo! Reincarnated. Reincarnated. Powerful. Powerful kitty. Um, that there. Yeah. Bye, 
five players, 15 characters dead in an hour, 30 minutes. Oh God, what did you throw at them? What, what in God's name did you throw at them? That's so unfun. Yeah, well, see, that's the thing is you gotta talk to players before you get into Call of Cthulhu. Like, Call of Cthulhu is a, like, the idea, like, your character is very unlikely to, to live through all of your play session of Call of Cthulhu. Like, like, it might even make it two sessions, but it's unlikely to see multiple chapters. Uh, basically, chapters in Call of Cthulhu are always like, because Call of Cthulhu works a little differently from D&D, where it's not like, um, it's done in scenes, so it's not continuous. It's not like, all right, we're going to walk there. It's like scenes will happen that the DM will do. Uh, one thing I particularly like about it is how it organizes itself along the lines of like players are a lot more, have a lot more agency of like, I'm going to do this, this, and this. And then it's just like rolling to see if you are capable of doing it versus the DM being like, uh, could you make me this kind of role? They can say, I want to use this skill to do this. You know what I mean? Sleep well, everyone. Good night, Good night. Have a wonderful rest of your evening. Have a great weekend. Bye, guys. Um. Personally, uh, I'm not gonna lose my one care. You know, I like I like the gumption. I'll I'll give you that much. I like that you got some you got some gumption about it. You know, I'm. Th thinking i'm th okay so here's what i'm thinking i'm thinking stone brick cobble wood is what i'm kind of thinking because that way it's got like a built base a kind of cobbly mid and then uh like some wood on top you served me well <laughs> my baby my baby <laughs> Uh, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three, one, two, three. Um, that hypothetical, uh, what is the 250 gold? Uh, I'm not telling you we shouldn't reach it. I'm not saying anything's even set for it. Don't aim for it. That's an, in that's, that's like too insane of an, of an amount, King. My God. Oh. Uh, yeah, that sounds more aesthetically accurate. Yippee! <laughs> I don't know uh, what deity they had to piss off, but uh, it was disgusting. I think all players succeeded less than 15 dice roll. Oh! Oh, that's bitter, dude. That's bitter. What were they? What were they playing as? Was anybody a milkman? If nobody's a milkman, they're failures. I'm not, I like, like, that's why they lost. That's the golden rule. Somebody has to be a milkman, okay? It's the rule. It's, it's the rule. I, listen, I don't make the rules. I don't make the rules. It's not up to me. I'm just saying. If somebody was a milkman, all the problems solved. Solved instantly. Nary a problem to be seen again. this gava ghoul gava ghoul gava ghoul why uh where's my cobble now the real question is do i think this will look better with the instead of uh in instead of doing like pure cobble uh what you call it? yeah pure yeah instead of doing like pure cobble big thick column um what if uh what if i kept making endless twins to win uh call of cthulhu my name is alex i am balix alex identical twin i am calix 
Well, I mean, at a certain point, you're either a like twin means two. <laughs> you could be you could be triplets and quadruplets and the like. You know what I mean? Like you'd need to you'd, you'd need to you'd have a set them out to blast through. <laughs> Make Nat play Mario Kart Wii with me. Oh, uh, not Miss Sophie. Look, I'm going back. I'm going back. Nothing has been more important than this. Uh, Sophie does flying jazz hands leap. I love Sophie. Uh, at my shoelace, every time I walk by her, she sticks a criminal hand, a <laughs> criminal hand, onto the bathroom door, pants on the face, presumably trying to figure out why I have a beard. <laughs> She's a very smart kitten by my other cat's penny slapped on the head and it echoed empty. Just. Oh my god. Perfect. Perfect. Prostitute, a university teacher, two ex soldiers, and a nurse. None of those sound like milkman, so kind of deserve deaths, not gonna lie. No, Desert Well, no! <laughs> oh, man. That's pedantic? No, it's it's application of the words to their meaning. <laughs> If you say I have a twit, like, you wouldn't say I have a twit, you'd be like, oh, I'm a triplet, you know what I mean? Like, bop, bop. You could have estranged siblings, though. Yeah, you could have, you could do all those and be like, oh, I was their estranged sibling. Here's a note that I was sent by a mysterious individual. That I was meant to meet them today. No, no, good heavens, I, I don't know them. I don't know them in the slightest, because I wasn't there. <laughs> No, I know you're kidding, King. I'm just asking. <laughs> no, I, I never knew my sibling, but I was here today. Today of all days to get to meet them. No. I would I would love that bit. That would be a great bit. No, I was their other estranged sibling. No. <laughs> what was the time period, actually, Caleb? I should ask. Uh, the worst is that I tried to make them survive, uh, but once they reached their fourth character, they decided to play a gaggle of 15 year olds and they reached the end. Oh my god. Wow, they're really stranger things to you, huh? <laughs> uh, I bought the Colombian chocolate coffee I really like. Nice, dude! But I realized that I don't know how a coffee machine works and my dad is asleep. Oh, uh, what kind of coffee machine is it? Um. When will they add in slabs of oak? Like not 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 these kinds. I mean I mean slabs of like oak uh, logs. What well, is this nice? No, I kind of hate this. I kind of I kind of ooh maybe 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 we shall see. We shall see. Maybe awful. Hard to say. Who knows? Realistic. Who's to say? You know? Uh, oh, yeah. I finished Silent Hill 2 uh, and, this, uh, and the IDs. Uh, I'd story born from Wish. It was amazing. One of the best games I've ever played here. Oh. Still too spooky. Uh, but, <laughs> but I'm glad you liked it. If a triplet dies, do the remaining two become twins? No. They, they're still triplets. Just one of them's dead. <laughs> if you have a sibling and the sibling dies, you don't become an only child. Like, you, you don't become like, oh, well, now I've always been an only child and I should always address myself. I am an only child. No, because the, the, like, the, the uh, what do you call it? What's the word I'm looking for? Not predisposition. The life experience you had is different. So you had like your, your siblings. They never really leave you. That's my take at least, you know? Like they're gone, but like they're always affecting you. Technically now uh, an only child. Nope, you were one of, I would, no. If you, if you were like one of four, it'd be like, oh, I'm one of four. Oh, are they all still alive? No, some several of them are dead. You know, oh, three of them died, so. I'm the last man standing, but I'm not and oh, I was not an only child. Exactly. See, yeah, you're still one of four. Yeah. 
Like you're you're always gonna be like it, it's something that that is so foundational typically like that it, that that it impacts you as a person. It helped to shape you. You know what I mean? Only identical twin? Ah. Snap is actively uh, haunted by ghost siblings. Noted. Oh my god. My roommate is big coffee guy with expensive glass thing to make his coffee in instead of a machine like you probably so I can't use that uh, as experience But what like wait, so are you there wait, what is available to you to make coffee currently a drip maker a french press? Like what well, like an espresso machine like what's what is currently available to you pour over? Um, no, I didn't need there at all. I needed here. I was like, why am I looking at this? I need something. I just do not remember what is haunted by the other six. It's true. It's true. Every day. You're a nerd coffee guy, aren't you? I mean, no, I've just worked. Like I've I've been a barista. That's all. Like I worked at a cafe. That's all that's kind of all it means. My dad just woke up, so well, problem solved. Problem solved. I like to imagine that you just started banging pots and pans and that that woke them that woke your dad up and he's just like, What? And you're like, I don't know how to make coffee. And now this is becoming like a a, a bonding exercise. A foundational experience. Soon you'll have object permanence, MJ. It'll be crazy. <laughs> also, it was 1946 Paris. So it's dealing with the remnants of the Second World War. Kind of base. Kind of base. That's a good time to set it, actually. That's a very tumultuous time still to set it. Sick. Goes hard. I like it. I was curious because I'd realize like technically you can set Call of Cthulhu in like a fairly modern setting I just never do because I'm like no if I'm playing Call of Cthulhu I, I like that nah, see like I, I like adding all that so like I wouldn't personally uh Set it in like modern times or any time with a cell phone, but lots of people do This looks stupid. I can already tell the roof looks stupid. I know it looks stupid. I'm not gonna go all the way up. I'm just gonna go to the top of that thing. I, I know it looks stupid. Uh, Sophocles, that uh, she wants my instant noodles. No! Play Papa Freezeria. Go back uh, to your roots, Dairy Queen. <laughs> I don't want to go back to those roots. Oh my god. I wonder if, as gods, uh, we could hear the previous incarnations. Who's to say? Yeah, it looks stupid. Um, I think it's too rounded, Nate, or like too squared at the edges. I know I was trying to keep the desert well vibe, but the roof's wrong. The roof's wrong, and... Yeah, I don't know if I like the logs in the middle. Yeah, I, you know what? Let's try it just as a desert well, but cobble instead. It's the worst roof I've ever seen. Yeah, yeah. Map 1 is Nightbot. <gasps> no, you spoiled the series finale. No! <laughs> No! Zachary what am I going to do? No! Oh, man. This is the biggest tragedy to ever befall me. Ah, oui. Peut-être. Ah. C'est difficile. Bah. C'est vraiment difficile. Je suis allé au le, euh, euh, musée <rire> musée de l'art. Je suis allé. Wow, my theorizing is impeccable. I could take over the game theory. 
They've already filled the position, King. Ooh, that's rough. That's rough. Maybe cooking theory. I don't know. Because you're cooking. You know what I just realized? <laughs> Caleb, you know what I just realized? I was like, man, yeah, setting it in like 1946 France. That's a really cool setting. That's just you setting it where you, oh my god, that's just like setting it where you live, but in, in back in time. That's crazy. Like I was like, wow, that's such like a inspired choice because it's like such a different locale. And I was like, oh wait, no, it's just like he's. <laughs> oh wait a minute, no, he's from uh, okay. <laughs> oh, that's awesome. Um, the first group died walking in an abandoned minefield and went kaboom. The second one caused a mine shaft to collapse on them despite my attempt to get them out of there. They was three 100 rolled. <laughs> Dang, dude. The third went mad looking for things they shouldn't have. Well, I mean, that's on them. They shouldn't have been looking. Why was they looking? You know, what, what were they snooping around for, huh? Days. Some people. You know? Unbelievable. Maybe a stone brick top? Might work? I don't know. I don't know. A stone brick up places like that. Oh, actually, you know, I'm gonna uh, try to get in close to at least. At least clean up some of the bottom. I think that will also help it look a little bit nicer. Uh, all right, then. So and eh. no, I want to break the block behind it. Wait a minute, no. Oh, it's not gonna let me. Um, fine. It's fine. <laughs> All right, let's go see what this looks like from the distance. Uh, and I'm back. Wait, wait. Did you hear about my my thoughts on you setting it in France? <laughs> uh, I mean, I have considered setting a campaign uh, in me and my homie's hometown, but in the '80s. See, that's cool. Don't get me wrong. It's not like an odd choice. It's just I had just not thought about that when I first started thinking about this Call of Cthulhu game for Caleb, and then I was like, oh, wait a minute. <laughs> Okay, that's a bit that's a bit cooler. You know, I like that more than the um sandstone. It it fits the vibe a bit more. Um maybe stone brick or no wood capstones on each one, maybe. But maybe I do dark oak. Do I have dark oak in here? I feel like I do, but I also might have moved it. It's entirely possible. It's entirely possible that I was a complete and utter idiot, and I was. Yes, I was. That's rough. That's rough. The player stopped uh, trying to overplay, and it worked. You know what? That's ain't that just always the way. Do you know how often I've like spent an hour planning like I've been or well I shouldn't even say I, I like I've been in a session where people are like we're going on an hour of just back and forth back and forth of what what we ought to do and what maybe happens and I'm like okay uh, I'm I'm leaving I'm going 
<laughs> like it's like I've had enough of this. It's why I love I I love playing barbarians for that because you can just be like I'm tired of this. I'm leaving. <laughs> I'm going in. Cause like my god. Cause it's like listen, put up a shop. It, it's up to the dice. We're either gonna do it or we're not. Let's try. Wait, pizza time. Toby McGuire, no. <laughs> Oh my god, but like say like ah, uh, because it's it, it uh, that's that happens a lot. I feel like with D and D, where it's like your plan, like or especially with bosses. Do you know how many times like mid mid arguments? I'm like, yes, I understand. You really want to hold monster, legendary resistance. Like, what do you mean? <laughs> we need to burn some of those first. We need to fight them for a bit first. This guy's not gonna go down like a chump. You gotta believe me. Um, for now, I'll just chuck this stuff in here. Coffee is being made. He's gonna get some of the some of the, some of the dark oak wood so that uh, uh, one two three four perfect uh just in case we'll also take one two, three four and then uh we will stone cut uh one two i uh, like that let's give it a try sometimes you need to kick the rock uh, to discover the oil below exactly so punch that dragon <laughs> Exactly. Oh my god. But see, it's like certain things. You're like, listen. God, I one mistake I remember I made. I was running uh, a version. Uh, like I retooled a bit a version of the Forge and Fury from Tales from the Yawning Portal. Uh, I don't normally. I never. Almost. I almost never straight run anything. You know what I mean? Uh, I always add like a little bit of uh, like a twist or change something. Either change the enemies or some of the traps or some of the rooms etc etc because i don't know i i don't like anything straight out of the book i think um but i do love the books for some decent advice you know what i mean of like okay that's a good base and now let's tool with it after that um but i made the mistake when i first ran it for my friends of going like oh yeah this bridge because the bridge was gnarly it was genuinely a very perilous bridge uh basically you're crossing in dark. So all, they're almost all humans, so they couldn't see in darkness. Uh, so they're walking in the dark on a rope bridge, two orcs on the other side, throwing javelins so that when you go to cross it, the rickety wooden bridge, you got to first succeed a dex check to even get to move. Otherwise, you don't move. And if you fail that check by more than five, um, it triggers a... Uh, you're you're going to start falling. And if you fall, you get one additional save. But if you fail that save, um, you just fall to your doom. You're just dead so i felt that was very punishing um i get it there's two saves so it's not god awful but you know i wanted to warn them um i didn't want them to feel like uh you know they were bamboozled by this i wanted them to be able to be like okay we know what's happening so right before they set foot onto the bridge i explained it i i i didn't tell them what the dc was but i did tell them the rules uh, i was like two like just for clarity and open uh, like in an open sense of stuff Here's what'll happen. Biggest mistake. It really was. Uh, it made them all too spooked to even try. Uh, and so because of that, they never did. They just like stayed on the other side, pot shotting back and forth. It made it made one room of combat take nearly a full session. And, but that's like that's fine. Don't wrong. Like it. That's a great learning experience, I think, uh, for like DMing. But yeah, it was like uh, a great exactly. They're a great crunch, and it's like. I was from that able to be like, ah, okay. Even when things are a little brutal, I really shouldn't explain them because it'll get in players' heads. I psyched them out, is I guess what I'm saying. I think I psyched them out. Uh, I like it a little better with those nodes. I don't know if I like the dark the best. Maybe spruce instead? I, I grab spruce for that reason. Rise. Yeah, but my thought was, I was like, yeah, but they're still under fire. Like, there's still orc coming, and they're still under fire from the other side from javelins. So, you know, of course, they'll try. Like, they'll try some other options for, like, 
they're not that they'll, they'll still be like needing to push forward uh or retreat but it just like it just dragged it out for each turn and i was like uh maybe some color or like it yeah that's like I'm, I'm i'm thinking something's lacking here i'm not sure what it might even be shape it might be like if i just take these off i'm gonna go back first as well uh because it honestly might just be that like having some nice because you know what maybe i'm gonna try uh this this now nope that's not what i wanted all oh, uh ooh, it might run into the problem that it looks a little weird with that goes that and then we'll do we'll try that that might make it look a little bit better some glass maybe yeah but the glass doesn't like make a lot of sense for the well you know what i mean like i i don't know how glass factors into. like i see what you're saying it would be a way to add some like light color touch but i'm not sure how that factors in there uh if you must know it's a it's automatic grinder and brew thermal tube of course the the, the, the cuisine art automatic grind and brew thermal trademark up oh, of course dude oh my god how did i not guess um hmm no now i think i hate the log now now i feel like i hate the logs there feels like it's too much maybe if i go back to stone just the little just the little bits of dark oak on top will be fine a bell Ooh. Ooh, a bell on top actually actually wait a minute that that's kind of that might go hard wait a second that actually might be genius i got a bell somewhere you can also just craft one probably with some gold still desert bell <laughs> it's a bell for the well the vibe is not vibe with the log yeah i think the logs aren't doing it uh i think it's 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 not quite meshing that way if it was a real well it would be uh stone for the well itself and wooden pillar uh roof, wouldn't it maybe tile or, or shingles for the roof it's kind of what i'm thinking like the it would be wooden slats going up but it's trying to emulate the uh, like i'm trying to emulate the desert well which is purely just like very squared off you know what i mean uh, all stone. But I do feel like... Because, yeah, otherwise, normally, I think it would just go up with some, like, fence posts. Um, I wish there was thicker fence posts. I wish there was, like, somewhere between, like, so, like, like a wall, but made of wood. Because, like... Eh. So skinny. So skinny. So I wish there was, like, a thicker piece of like uh wood that i could use but alas um maybe some fence access pillar yeah well and that's kind of what i'm thinking like it's like that would be if i was going for because like, you know there's villager wells that look like that like i could just copy a villager well it's meant to all kind of seem together but i hate online only achievements yeah that sounds kind of dumb especially if it's like part of 100 percent of the game Portal 2 suck. Get a friend. Uh, <laughs> Jeez, dude. Jeez. Just get a friend, bro. What are you... <laughs> uh, I was getting myself super psyched up telling him uh, I'm 100% Skate 3 and stuff. Uh, you need to do online for 10 of the achievements. The online is dead and some of it has been taken down. Oh, that sucks. That blows. Wait a minute. A bell in here was in there yeah but i don't like i don't want to give up that bell i want i want i want I'll, I'll i'll make a bell i'll go find some gold I got, I got some gold in in another chest somewhere that's not gold 
I know there's some out at like another end. I just rather if I, if I had some in here, I'd like to use it, but don't think I do. Well, that's not how you spell bell. Nope, I was gonna do it again. Well, and it just won't tell me. Um, oh wait, do you have to collect bells? Are bells not craftable? Now that I think about it. Can you not craft bells? Are they like an, a findable only option? Minecraft would do something like that. It's not unheard of. Bells are tradable. But you can't build it. There's no crafting recipe. Well, well, I know where I'm going. Well, I'm okay. I'm gonna go get some beef first, and then I know where I'm going. Or trade what with David? He's all I have left. <laughs> He's the only guy around. He doesn't sell bells. Oh wait, no, I have this extra bell here. Okay, I knew I had two. Never mind, we don't we don't need to adventure at all. Nah, they don't. I remember Mason's uh trades. It's not bells. It's um what's it called? It's andesite, diorite, uh stone, uh emerald and hardened clay uh, you hate is such a strong word oh man Either way, we got a bell. We're good. I miss soup. <laughs> is this medicine witch posting on a on a separate account? Is it? Is... Oh my god. Listen, listen. He wasn't meant to be gone this long. Guys, I, th I think soup might be in a, in a, in a, in a little bit of trouble. I have to. I feel like he wasn't meant to be gone this long. There we go. Bonk. I've missed so much uh, lore. I wish there was some place I could catch up on it. Wait, oh! That he was gone for so long. Yeah, I wish. I wish someone could. Late at night. All right, somebody, somebody, please, for the love of God, make a, <laughs> make a, make a nap edit set to uh, "I Need a Hero" from Shrek 2, specifically from Shrek 2. <laughs> Oh my god. Hit it! Wow! Oh. Um. What if I made it a log at the top? Instead of so. Like, I've made it stone. I could make it a log. It doesn't look terrible now. Like, I think that's the best iteration it's been. It doesn't look great. I'm really trying to keep, like, I'm trying to not disturb the base look of a desert well. You know what I mean? That's the problem. Is that I'm, I'm like, I'm trying to, I'm trying to keep true to it. You don't have to keep to the base look of a desert well. Oh, listen, I've committed. I've already committed. That's the goal now. Yeah, I I need this. 
Okie dokie. Um, this is gonna look stupid, won't it? No, that's not what I wanted. I mean, that's how it'll look, but uh, what can I put in there? What if I square it back off? What if I square it back off like it originally was meant to be? Maybe that'll, maybe, maybe, maybe. Who, who, who's to say? Oh, actually, what if I... Oh, I don't have enough. Uh, what if I... Do this when squaring it off so it's got a bit more structure. A bit more structure! We can't uncommit. Exactly, maybe strip long, maybe. Maybe I see where you're going with birch Bop. You've thought about any build of the hardcore world. Yeah, probably <laughs> Yeah, this one well yeah, but boy howdy what a well it'll be Um Alright Okie dokie, I'm gonna say that probably looks alright for now We'll come back to it with a fresh set of eyes in the future But for now I think that doesn't uh, look that bad look half bad right I feel like that looks all right it could use something I just don't know what you know what I mean like it could use something just not sure what but overall not a bad not a bad little inclusion and it's more like the con the, the the normal desert well it's squared off <laughs> Um, maybe a larger path connected. It might be nice too, but I digress. I digress. We need to, we need to first go plant some seeds. When seeds are we create, keep them ranting. Um, I apologize. Uh, <laughs> I think it's fair uh, enough lacking something. Uh, I can't think of right now. So it's exactly, it's like, I, I think we'll come back to it maybe and it'll and we can probably think of something but for now I, I think it looks passable but you know that's what more can you ask a lot you you could you can ask for a lot more it's, it's really not asking for much at all passable is like asking for the bare minimum quite literally but you know don't tell anybody that. um Need to get a little bit more seeds. Up, 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 up. Uh, okay, perfect. See, it's gonna be beautiful. It's gonna be made. It's gonna be made new again, like like you wouldn't believe. So potent, so powerful. Um. I have butted bagel in my coffee. Time to try. Try what? Like, tr like just try it? Like in general? Have you? Have you never had coffee in a bagel? <laughs> I'm just like this is a magical experience. Never before thought of coffee and bagel combo. I don't know why I'm being so stinky about it. I don't. <laughs> oh man. Ah, well. But yeah, the, uh, the quick circle back, but I was going to say, um, well, I think accent wise, uh, just because I'm better at it, um, which isn't to say I'm good, just to say I'm better at it. Uh, I'm keeping Oliver Tarot, uh, Tarot uh, as um, 
is more of like a France French rather than Cajun kind of France, but or France, uh, Cajun French. Uh, but he is definitely uh, his play style is inspired by uh, uh, Gambit. Because yeah, he's his class is an Oracle and stuff like that, but he's able to uh, imbue energy into things. Like, well, only a little bit by Gambit, I should say. Just cards being like part of his thing, uh, tarot and gambling cards, stuff like that. He's a big gambling guy. One his, his spiritual weapon is is a is a uh, so it lets him summon a um, a small bipedal uh, slot machine that goes and just starts decking people. And then one of the spells, because it quite literally says like you summon a servant that walks over, or like uh, a, a, a corporeal person that can either uh, slap or punch someone. So it's, it's I've renamed this spell Tip Your Waitress, and, and it's just like a casino, uh, a casino waiter uh, that, that does slap damage. It's, it's a great spell. Great, great spell. I'm really digging getting to like theme them so much. My eventual goal is to have uh, a summon that's like golem size uh, of a of a bipedal uh, slot machine. Gonna name him Argus. Gonna name him Argus, and he's gonna he's gonna absolutely eviscerate people. If Ruba was here, I could explain further because it's based off of something out of Smite. But ah. Uh. <laughs> Why are you so much? I mean, Nap, I've drank coffee. Uh, I've liked the one. Oh, well, I'm, I'm, just, I'm just asking. Well, I hope you like it, King. Uh, a cardomancer feat? Uh, no, no, it's just part like patent, uh, patented into the uh, the Oracle. Like, these are all just like base Oracle things. This, so this is Pathfinder rather than D&D. So the class is Oracle rather than, uh, which is its own thing in like, in Pathfinder second edition. It's a really interesting class. It's technically Oracle of the Cosmos. I've just themed it gambling-wise. Just because I think that is cool. Uh, and I learned a trick with... Uh, I learned a trick from one of the... Uh, from Casino Royale, where uh, Le Chief, who's played by Mads Mikkelsen, uh, can uh, flick a, um, a poker chip from the front of... like He's holding like four, and he can flick the first one back all the way to the back of the row, and then push the whole row forward. It just looks really slick. I really like that. And so I yoinked it, and I was like, this. This is the character. <laughs> Oh, man. Don't know uh, how to use a coffee machine. Obviously, I don't know how coffee tastes like. You can drink coffee and not know how, how to work a coffee machine. You could just always go to cafes, dude. I don't know. You're such a nerd. Thanks. <laughs> Thanks, I try. Why not uh, teach, uh, teach you the goddess of luck? Uh... One, I'm not familiar, and two, uh, they're not in the, uh, the world, as far as I'm aware. Uh, and also, uh, he's not dedicated, so, well, interestingly, uh, oracles in, uh, Pathfinder are, uh, do use divine magic. Um, I chose Cosmos in part, uh, because it's like, you know, space and everything like that, and that's cool, but also, because, um... I love the idea. Uh, I love the idea of uh, him feeling, you know, the, like the theme of the house always wins. That doesn't mean he wins. The house is, you know, the 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 various deities and, and prime material groups that that truly pull the strings behind uh, the world and scheme and the like. So no matter what happens, they're always gonna win. Someone's always gonna win. Um. I'm not that knowledgeable as second edition Pathfinder. Fair enough, King. Neither am I. <laughs> this is the first character I've ever made for it. Um, it's very interesting. I personally don't know. I don't prefer it. Uh, people in my group quite like it. Uh, so that's why we're kind of messing around with it. I don't personally prefer it. Uh, it's a lot more uh, noodly. Like it's it's like people like to think that f like I've like five E doesn't have a lot of crunch. It has some crunch to it. Uh, meaning like there's some futzy things with numbers and stuff like that to crunch. Uh, when playing it and it's a little but it's pretty introductory compared compared wise like f pathfinder is such it's made by the people uh, us so pathfinder is made by uh, a subgroup of the designers of DD who split off uh midway through third edition because they didn't like the direction fourth edition was gonna go uh so they went off after 3.5 to make pathfinder and they founded paizo uh which is the company that makes it and in doing so, uh, they, they've kept it very, uh, 
crunchy and like how many little modifiers you have to consider crits work different as well like crits are weird like how you gain le like healings everything's very different i should say it's like DD, but it's still very much its own game if that makes sense uh is the name of the golem she is the greek goddess of luck gambling and randomness uh which is a great divine portfolio in my mind Ooh, it would be yeah i mean i was thinking of um there's a character in smite uh, well the character of hera uh in smite has a skin that is uh, uh i think it's called luck be a lady tonight uh and it's a great skin because argus is a golem of sorts that she can summon um in that game and he uh, and and he's a giant slot machine in that skin i love it i think it's such a great bit mumble yumbo house mumble yumbo um okay i can put away the sandstone let's actually use the let's actually use our sorting yeah um put things away where they're meant to be you know follow the rules no <laughs> there and then that there that's gonna go into that other chest I'm gonna go this one and this one and like so Wait that didn't go anywhere Oh wait, I zoned out! About what? About what? What did you zone out about? Gambling like in Fallout New Vegas. I half of the reason I'm playing Vegas Vegas is the gambling. Didn't you know that, MJ? Imagine, oh my god. I actually really like the aesthetic. I, I I think I don't think you should gamble. Gambling's very bad. Don't ever gamble. You're always gonna lose. It's never good. Don't gamble. But the aesthetic, <laughs> the aesthetic of 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 Vegas, uh, of like of like a 50s, 60s mobbed up Vegas, is is a cool aesthetic. I just remembered uh, I didn't drink anything today. Well, then you should. I'll join you. <laughs> You know, aesthetic is so cool. Exactly, it's a really cool aesthetic, despite the fact that like <laughs> gambling's very bad. You shouldn't gamble. But <laughs> only gambling, uh, what you've already decided beforehand you can afford to lose. Yeah, no takes these backsies when you're out of funds. You're out. exactly like if you like take out. I don't know, like. 20 bucks and and you're like and this is all i'm gonna use all night i i and consider it gone like consider it spent like you're spending it in the way that you're like i'm spending 20 dollars to have a time out tonight you know what i mean uh then yeah you're gold but also know your personality and know, know if you're not compatible with gambling you know what i mean We've described map as the uh, exact set and vibe of JoJo's campaign. Uh, I pl plan to run at some point. Hey yo, JoJo Siwa. <laughs> Better yet, gamble stuff that doesn't matter, like cookies uh, or other snacks over card games with friends or something. Yeah, I mean that also. Go get like a, a pretzels or something and gamble those. I've never like it's it's odd though. I will say I've never like the only time I think I've ever played poker is in like Red Dead Redemption. <laughs> like I have very little interest in gambling games. I feel like 
And there's people who are like so I've never understood the aesthetic in like television shows where it's like, oh, it's it's poker night. And I'm like, what? Huh? It just seems odd. You know what I mean? It just seems like an odd aesthetic to me. Of like, oh yeah, our friend group gets together once a once a week or once a month to gamble with each other. Seems weird. If you're into it, fair enough. Coffee's kind of weak and not chocolatey like when the roommate made it. So maybe you did something different, but it's fine. I'm not appalled by the taste anymore. Let's go. Well, I'm glad you found a blend you like then, King. Uh, using cookies and stuff like poker chips. <laughs> I'm all in. Just shove a bunch of chips ahoy into the <laughs> into the table. The only time I played poker was to <laughs> Oh my god. Uh there are these uh sweets that uh are all, like rolled up like licorice, which I love, and they'd make such good faux poker chips. They would probably Yo Ruba! How do Ruba 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 wait okay do you know do you know in smite do you <laughs> do you know the Hera skin the like uh, I think it's called luck be a lady the like uh, the gambling Hera skin do you know what I mean when I say that um uh, that's where I learned and unlearned poker huh how do you unlearn poker I would absolutely try my hardest to win at any card game if chocolate chip cookies were on the line I mean well that's just that's just valid. That's just fair. Of course you would. Why wouldn't you? Who's not? Who's not giving it their all for that? That's where you turn the turn the hat around like your um, uh, Ash Ketchum, you know? The only time I played poker was in Red Dead Online with my friends and completely forgot how to play. That's where I learned and unlearned poker. Are you happy? Are you... <laughs> Are you happy now? Hmm? I'm a harem main, of course. The real question is, are you a harem main because of that scale? <laughs> now that I think about it, that does feel fitting. <laughs> uh, because it's a glamorous skin is why, is what, is what I mean. Genuinely, that's, that's what I mean. Just, just so we're clear. Uh, I'm never happy with you. There, well, get in line. Uh, the... <laughs> Few ever are. Oh wait, no, I do want this. I, I want this. Here, never mind. Never mind. Um. I do like it, but uh, it's a little gaudy for my taste. Not mine. <laughs> Love that skin. Uh, we were talking about the gambling set because I have a, I have a effectively D and D. It's Pathfinder, but effectively D and D character uh, that like he he summon uh, he summons little bipedal slot machines that are kind of like Argus in that. And my goal is to eventually get to be able to summon a big. Uh, Big boy slot machine like the uh, the the uh, skin used for Argus uh, on that skin. Uh, is lilac bloom? I run that all the time. I feel like I know that. One second. Lilac. Okay, not the skin I was thinking of. It's still really pretty. Um, I'm only gonna be uh, in stream for a bit. Need to pick me up before I gotta do stuff. Fair enough, Dragon Corn. Fair enough. I take it as a compliment that you think this will be a pick me up. <gasps> Now's where I grill you. <laughs> Now's where I rake them over the hot coals. <laughs> oh man. Uh, the only sort of like card game I've actively tried to learn is uh, Mahjong, not Mahjong Solitaire, which uh, where you match two tiles to clear them uh, from the board. Actual Mahjong, 
uh, where you play tiles in hand, a lot of card games, and try to beat other players with specific combos. I've uh, trouble wrapping my head around it, not gonna lie. Kinda sounds like Villainous. Uh, <laughs> which actually, oddly enough, very fun game. Very fun card game. Uh, I've I've not played the like Disney Disney one, but the uh, the Star Wars and the Marvel one I've played before. Very fun, very enjoyable. Good card game. I really want to play uh, Queen by Midnight, which is a game made by um, uh, what's it called the Critical Role people, uh, like their Darrington Press or whatever their um, their publishing company is. But um, it seems really fun. It seems like a really fun game. Basically, uh, Queen by Midnight, the goal is you're, you and everybody at the table is a princess, uh, and there's a big clock tower in the middle, so there's 12 rounds total, uh, which I like that, that it's not an infinite game. Um, so it's like you're trying to become queen by midnight, basically. Uh, queen is dead, and, and one of these princesses, and so they're all stylized after different uh, fairy tale princesses and stuff like that, and it's, it's a really cool game. I like it a lot. Um, I don't own it, so I'd like to own a copy, but it's a really cool game. Cascade of flowers all the way down the long uh, length of her gown is just... Mwah, shift. It's sort of side activity in Final Fantasy. That's why I got interested. That's honestly iconic. That's... Um, hold on, that sounds like it goes hard. What's it called? It's called Queen by Midnight. Uh, so yeah, you're, you're a bunch of princesses, and you're, you're princesses, basically, and everybody has their own, like, little mini domain or board, basically, that, and you have cards that play to that, and you try to achieve different things, and you can sabotage other, other princesses and stuff like that, um, and in the center of it all, uh, is, is a, is a, a big clock tower that you set up, uh, that you turn for each round, because there's 12 rounds till it gets to midnight, um, and yeah, and basically, yeah, you're trying to become queen by midnight. So secure, secure power uh, as the princess in the power vacuum that uh, the last queen left. And it, it's just, it's a really, it's it's a really uh, cool game. Yeah, it's so cool. I know, right? It's such a cool art style. And it's like well made. I've like, having played it once or twice before, I've like felt the materials. Uh, so it's like well, well made kind of thing, um, which is good for its price tag. Uh, but yeah, it's one of those things that I'm like, man, what a cool game. It's definitely in like the vein of like artisan games in the sense of like, if like Settlers of Catan is like dipping a piggy toe into that kind of like uh, vibe. But yeah, there's so many cool games that are made that way. A bit of love since uh, I'm going to sleep. Uh, you made a sweet stuff that helps people feel better Wait. <laughs> there it is. <laughs> there it is. Uh, I'll say you have the dainty, agile, steady boy hands. Uh, they are rural f farm hand hands that are rugged and calloused, I'll have you know. Uh, good night. Have a great weekend, Slurp Boy. Good night, Caleb. I hope you have a wonderful rest of your night and a fantastic weekend. Sleep well, King. I hope all is well for you come the next day and the day after. Oh my god. Seven pounds. Yeah, yeah. It's it's a lot. It's one that I think I'd try to get on sale or like at a con. You know what I mean? Because like at conventions, that way you don't have to pay shipping. Um, Because shipping is what makes it murder in my mind. Uh, good news though is in fairness, they've become big enough. I believe they have a store for the UK. So it's like they have, they've been able to make international stores. They have one for Australia and uh, the UK as well as... Uh, uh, the US so shipping's a little bit better is my understanding is the goal of that so But yeah, it's definitely one that I think I'd try to pick up like at a brick-and-mortar store or something like that because they're More likely to be able to not charge an arm and a leg for shipping Oh, why? No, oh, that's not what I wanted. Why would why would I want it there? You fiend. I'm so bad at Mahjong. Uh, I can't uh, beat the beginner's NPC that are basically magically animated toys. I'm having fun losing though. Hey man, fair enough. The only, see the only card game I feel like I've truly learned, I don't feel like I know poker. I just like get frustrated at a certain point, go all in is John Marston. I just go all in and then everybody, everybody, so either everybody like goes, oh, so they dip out. 
Or one guy calls me on my bluff and wins, and then I, I, I give him all my money, and then I stand up and I, I just blast the table. <laughs> I go ba 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 ba. But um, <laughs> but no, blackjack's the only game that I think I know. If that makes sense, but I feel, I mean, maybe it does, maybe I'm wrong to say this, but Blackjack feels like it takes no skill, you know what I mean? It's literally just like, um, hopefully this doesn't go over. <laughs> oh, man. Um, Seridan is a taken guess, I'm stuck in the old username. <laughs> no, I mean, I like Dragon Court. It's a cool name. Eh? Did you see the new DC comic stuff uh, we were talking about in media? I did! I did! It looks really cool. Or at least I think I did. I'm pretty sure I saw I saw the Wonder Woman stuff. I didn't see any of the rest. I didn't I didn't read through the rest of it. Nap, you're not setting me up. I need you to set me up. Hmm. Speaking of Mahjong, uh be it in uh, uh Final Fantasy. I was I didn't realize. <laughs> Uh, Nap, I have a game in mind, uh, you could learn. Yes, MJ, what game is that? <laughs> Caravan in Follow New Vegas! <laughs> Like, you say that, but you actively told me not to learn Caravan. That when we were playing, you were like, no, Nap. No, 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 no. How did I mess you up? Okay, should all be a clean go now? Saturday stream should be four hours of learning Caravan because that's how long it would take to learn. Oh my God. You should learn it for the bit. Maybe I'm just great at it. Maybe I'd instantly understand. You don't know. Maybe I'd just lock in. I'd be like, ah, of course, Caravan. I know how to play this. I know the ruling TJ MJ is being over dramatic. <laughs> yeah, MJ, you're just being over dramatic. You nerd. <laughs> <laughs> oh my God, Caravan. Is a game where you collect more cards for your deck you literally would suck where you where you are right now oh my god you've collected two cards i no I'd, I'd win <laughs> no i i simply simply built different oh man oh yeah ruba i was gonna ask do you have you played any of smite 2 the reason i ask is because i think it's dead i think it's dead on arrival I, last i heard it's active player base is like Peak, peak daily peaks are at like 1,000 something. It's not even out. It's really not good. <laughs> but then, and also like Smite player player peaks are down to like nearing nearing a 10 year low. And I'm like, ooh, I know it was a hail mary, but man, let's see how it goes. Well, this will either be refresh or, or new information. They're doing a big event called the Absolute Universe. Oh, I do remember hearing something about that. What was it? I forget. Um, which will be a new take on, uh, as of yet, the big three's coming of age stories in a world where they, uh, where they don't have the same advantages uh, we know them to have in the main universe. Does that mean it's going to be poor Bruce Wayne? Like, what? <laughs> Or are his parents gonna be alive and he has a loving family and home life so he doesn't have the grit to be Batman? <laughs> Is Superman gonna be, gonna be, like, raised by, like, m MAGA people instead of, like, nice people in the countryside? Like, what, what advantages are getting taken from them? <laughs> oh, man. <laughs> If I remember correctly, the same style of Mahjong is uh, in the Switch game, Clubhouse Game 51 Worldwide Classics, so practice there! I mean, what's the goal of it? So imagine Bruce growing up in poverty-stricken orphan uh, in the streets of Gotham. Kal-El never gets adopted by the Kents. 
uh, or finds the Fortress of Solitude, Diana is never raised in Themyscira, doesn't know the Amazons. That one, I'm not sure how that one works. <laughs> like, so is her story gonna be in ancient times? Like, because ostensibly, wasn't she like born back in like the time of ancient Greece? And she, it's just nobody ages really on Themyscira? That was my understanding. I mean, that's like an old origin. I don't know if that's still the origin post New 52. I have no idea, actually. But I remember that was an origin. Oh my god. I like the idea that Batman gets a nice, happy family, but still needs to be edgy. <laughs> like, he still needs to be an edgy hero, and he's like, No, Mom, but I'm not coming to dinner, man. <laughs> God, uh, why couldn't you and Dad have j died 15 years ago? Gosh. Uh... It's ha-ha funny. Man, all the family is getting together without me. What? Who? What? The fam? Um. Bop. 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 And then bop. Bop. Hello. Life. Slowly but surely, we get it done. Um, uh, the key takeaway is that despite there be uh, more rough starts, they are all still trying uh, to be good and want to help people. So it's not your standard dark multiverse. Oh, good. That was my next worry, actually. That genuinely, I was like, oh, is it another what if Superman but bad? What if, what if Superman, but you know, because he didn't get raised by the Kents, now he's suddenly uh, the biggest villain you've ever seen? Oh, wow. That's crazy. That's never been done before. That's insane. Wow. They must feel really proud of themselves. <laughs> they must be so pleased. Um, and my mom are up in Bermuda and all the fib uh, up there are meeting up. Uh, and I didn't expect them to otherwise. Jesus Christ. Uh, I would have argued harder uh, for going with her. Bermuda? I mean, it's a nice place for a vacation, I hear. Cool little island. You just, uh, I don't know, get some white sandy beaches, uh, try not to die in a triangle of doom. You know how they play baseball in Bermuda? They do. Well, that's news to me. I've never heard tell of such a thing. Nobody understands me, Alfred. <laughs> Gosh. Uh, of course, Master Poop. Yeah. Uh, good old two sh two time Alfred. Good old <laughs> good old two shot to the head, Alfred. Double tap, Alfred, my beloved. Bop bop. That man understands. He knows. Just can't. You don't just shoot him once. Twice. Two slugs right to the cranium. That's why I'm prepared to give it a chance because I wanted to see the consequences would be uh, in the grander scheme. It'll be interesting. Well, like, I'm curious because it's like the wealth is sort of intrinsic to Batman in some regard in terms of the batarangs and everything like that. So it would have to be a much more brutal Batman, I guess, like way more pure fists, just punch and go. Alfred, rah! Uh, like, does the Justice League still get formed? What will it look like? Nah, Diana kills everyone. <laughs> They're gonna pull the rug out from under you. Diana's gonna be like, what ho? I'm going to kill everybody for some reason. It'll be interesting if that means she just gets more of a relationship. Like, sure, she might not be involved with Themyscira and the Amazon, but I'll be interested to see if that means she'll have more of a, like, godly guidance you know what i mean if she'll be more of like a like 
Oh, we have a quest for you, Diana. Like the gods will be more ingrained in her story. Or if they're going to try to... Well, because it's like, how do you cut the Greek stuff entirely? You know what I mean? How the Robin situation would work. See, it's the thing is like, on the one hand, he'd probably relate a bit easier not coming from wealth. But on the other hand, how does he get his, how does, how does he get to keep the kid? How does he get to become the ward or the guardian? Who's letting Mr. Doesn't own a dime to his name look after the kid? Um... I'm just better being trained in martial arts. Uh, he's some good for nothing street fighter. I mean, that's the thing is like he still could get trained with martial arts. That part has nothing to do with his money. Um, he just went on a. I mean, you could argue it takes money to get to Tibet and everything like that, but you could hand wave that in a story of like, oh yeah, he stuck aboard a ship. Like, but it'll be interesting if they go for more of a brawler. You know what I mean? actual found family instead of adoptive family they're all runaway street rats except for tim tim finds the street rats <laughs> tim just finds them he's like what are you guys doing back here <laughs> they're hiding like the ninja turtles he's like what are you what are you doing what is this If she doesn't train under the mascara, how does she become the greatest warrior uh, in the known universe? And that's what I'm saying is it's like, I could see it if they just, if they go, oh, it wasn't the mascara. It was like, for all we know, maybe she'll be more involved with Atlantis. I don't know. Uh, or because she's like, she's still probably going to be the daughter of Zeus. Cause that's like where her, is she still the daughter of Zeus in the current canon? Actually, that was a canon. I don't remember if it's the current canon. I think it is. Um, anyway, but. Is that like, I assume it'll be more of a like demigod parentage type beat, like a Percy Jackson vibe of like, you got a quest, go learn. Or maybe, or maybe she'll be raised on Olympus, who knows? And it'll be more of an argument of like, oh, I want to go help them. And the gods are like, no, 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 none of that, Diana. Uh, I just don't want it to be some lazy cop out where she's just in equal but opposite circumstances. Well, that's kind of the thing is it's like The care I'll be I'll be interested to see what they do because it's like the character is um, Ingrained in myth Like like I don't see how they do it without losing with losing the Greekness entirely But at the same time, it's like okay But then what makes it different? And the only way that I could see it being different is it's like you don't have the safety net of like and sisterhood of Themyscira. Uh, yeah, I'll start it on this side. So it'll be interesting to see what they do. Oh, one sec. Uh... Well, okay, I'm gonna do a few more minutes and then I will probably have to dip out for those who didn't know I I, uh, I have to go pick someone up from an airport because they did not depart when they were meant to because their planes canceled and there's no sign that they're gonna get out today They were meant to have left. They were meant to have been on a plane back at like 10 a.m. Today. They've been in the airport all day It does not look like they're getting out of there. So they're like it is Come get me. So I'm gonna, um, yeah, I'm just gonna wrap up. Uh, I, 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 I hate to end early. I really do. It's just, it's, love you guys. You're great. A little more important that they're kind of waiting there. Um, I was waiting to hear from them uh, on if they did or didn't think that anything was gonna change. But they said, yeah, the, the next, even like potential is still gonna be, um, like tomorrow so rough they avoided leaving for so long because it kept being like oh maybe maybe we just gotta get the the system back online any day any minute <laughs> uh and so they were like well i don't want to go through security again da -da -da -da. but no no they're like the last the latest they've heard is like maybe tomorrow morning 
Yeah. I love suck cost fallacy. Yeah. Yeah. So they, they're pulling the plug. That darn Windows, huh? I maintain it's not Windows. <laughs> I love that it's not Windows. Because, like, my favorite thing is that it's, it's not, like, a pure Microsoft. Microsoft, like, put out... Uh, my understanding of what happened is Microsoft put out an update. And then this data security thing put out an update as well. And their update treated the new Microsoft update as, like, a problem. And bricked everybody's computer. For that reason. Or, well, all the computers that use their software to, like, guard against cyber attacks. But, anyway. Jettos! Thanks so much for coming out. I hope you all have a wonderful rest of your evening. I hope you have a fantastic uh, weekend. And uh, next next week, we'll be back with 90s Nap Week. Nap does nap, nap takes on the 90s. I gotta come up with a better name for it. But anyway, <laughs> uh, I won't reveal what game will be first. I know what will. Um, I have an order roughly of what I'm gonna do. But if there's any days, if you suggested a game, uh and you're like oh if this game is getting played i would really like it to not be on blank day uh feel free to let me know uh in the discord because you know i like to try to keep games on days where people who suggested them can actually watch them but anyway i'll see you all next week for a themed week of games <laughs> budget Beep! budget bye budget bye I am waiting. I am waiting for this goodbye message. <laughs>